Hello, my name is Farin and welcome back to part 10 of ARN's ABA Parental Training Series. In our last video, we have established the benefits of using teaching strategies such as setting clear expectations and how you can set expectations for your child. So in this video, we will be covering the importance of social skills and the benefits that your child could receive from getting social skills training. Let's go! <laughs> Social skills are an important area for every child's daily living and can greatly impact the quality of life. Many children with autism tend to struggle with social skills in some way. One of the criteria for diagnosing ASD is the persistent deficits in social communication and social interaction across multiple contexts. <laughs> For social-emotional reciprocity, your child may have an abnormal social approach towards others, have difficulty in normal back-and-forth communication, and failure to respond at all or respond appropriately to social interactions by others. For non-verbal communication, your child may be lacking in eye contact, challenges with understanding and using gestures, lack the usage of facial expressions to interact and send information in an interaction. For relationships, your child may struggle with imaginative play, have difficulty making and maintaining friendship with others, show no to less interest in social relationships, and have difficulty with relationships leading to challenges with social life, work life, education, and daily living. <laughs> So firstly, you should observe your child in social interactions, identifying which social skill areas that they may need to work on. By doing so, you can identify areas of strength, existing skills that can be further developed, and areas that have a negative impact on your child's life and future. For social skill strength, you would take note of the social skill that they did well. For example, your child consistently responds to your question of, How is your day? This means that your child is able to exhibit the social skill to the best of their ability. For existing social skills that can be further developed, you would observe for social skills that they already have, but they are not done well or are not done consistently by your child. For example, your child allows a peer to play near them but does not engage in parallel play with them. For social skill areas of concern, you will notice that your child is not displaying a particular social skill area during the course of observation. For example, your child rarely engages in conversations not of their interest. You must remember that you are not trying to change who your child is, you are just helping them to become the best version of themselves. In order for this to happen, you should look to reinforce your child's strength and develop the skills that they are lacking in, leading to a better quality of life for themselves. We hope you find this information to be beneficial and if you have any enquiries, feel free to contact us with the information shown on the screen. And if you happen to know of someone who may benefit from this video, do share it with them as well. Thank you for watching the video today and we will see you next two weeks for the next part of this series. Bye!